Hi everyone, this is Ashish Dhani. Welcome to Infosec Train. So today we are going to discuss about a very well-known attack, which is pass the hash. So when we are talking about pass the hash, it is a part of lateral movement. So after gaining hashes, it is up to the attacker what they, uh, they decide to do with the hash. So you, you can try your hand on cracking it, but we all know it is difficult and time consuming. So there is no guarantee of gaining the correct password. So then there is other way during authentication. The basic procedure is the password is collected from the user and then it is encrypted and then encrypted hash of the correct password is used for future authentication. Then after the initial authentication, Windows will keep the hash in its memory so that the user does not have to enter the password again and again. So once you do credential dumping, you get the hash of the password. Now, as an attacker, we don't know the password. So we do what? We perform the attack past the hash. We provide the hash instead of the password. So this was the attack and Microsoft fixed it. So there was an algorithm RC4 encryption with uh, used. So Microsoft re replaced it with AES encryption and there was credential guard and introduced so many people many users they believe that past the hash attacks are now gone but the reality is the changes made the attack difficult to perform but they never really solved the problem so some techniques some tools they became useless but some were still working so that is past the hash now when we are talking about working of pass the hash so pass the hash attack works in two steps extraction of hashes and using the hashes to gain the access to the compromised machine or another machine so the very first thing that you have to do is uh, you have to find out the password and then you have to do credential dumping so let's try how we can perform pass the hash attack So we have our Kali Linux here and we have Windows Server running. Now, the very first thing that I will do, I will use crack map exec to dump the NTDS database. So the NTDS database is in front of me. Now I have the hashes of all the machines. So let's, let's say we pick up this one, the administrator's credentials, the administrator's hash. Then there is a tool, I am packet, in which lots of Python libraries and Python executable files are there. So for that, we are using SMB client. So what we'll be doing, we'll be using SMB client.py. We'll give the hashes. The first one is an LM hash. So we have to give 32 zeros, right, instead of that. And then the original hash, the NTLM hash is there, and then the name of the domain and the user and the IP address of the target machine. Once you do that, we can see that I'm connected to the target machine. So this is how we can use pass the hash attack to log in to a particular Windows machine. Thank you.